Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, this video is a little different. It is a what sold video, but it is all clothing and it is clothing that sold from May 8th to May 15th. I normally skip the clothing items, but I know there's a lot of people out there that sell clothing. So I'm gonna do a video and I'm gonna do actually two. I'm gonna do another one for items that sold from May 1st to May 7th. So, um, yeah, it's going to be like a two part video, just, um, like I guess a weekly video. I don't know if I'm going to continue to do clothes. I would like your feedback down in the description of the video. If you want the clothing bolos, please say we want the clothing items. If you don't then comment, don't like the clothing bolos, just give me your feedback. Um, I've got my bread and butter videos and my big money bolo items that I'm always going to do and continue to do. And like I said, I typically skip the clothes, but maybe I shouldn't. So these are clothing items to be on the lookout for. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it and what it sold for. I typically include like vintage clothing, but this is mostly um, retail arbitrage items that I've picked up at discount stores and stuff like that, which there is tons of money in this. I used to do from 2005 up until just like before I started the Bolo channel, like that's all I did was clothing, retail arbitrage, discount store clothing. And I have a closet full that I need to list. So I am getting some of those items up here and there, but I'm going to do the video. You guys let me know what you think. Um, tell me if it was like worth watching, if you want more of it, or if you want me to skip the clothes. And I'm sure I'm going to get a mix, mixture of feelings on this. So let's get started. Before we start, um, for those of you that are new to the channel, this is my YouTube channel and I share Bolo category videos, which is going to cover like, um, categories like trying to think of some, I'm drawing a blank, like uh, Christmas, Halloween, um, made in Japan items, new old stock items, items that you would typically think that would be thrown away that are bolos. Um, I have a really good one coming up, but I'm not going to share that one because I don't think I've done it yet. But um, I have different playlist. I, I'm doing a Monday series from where I do unboxings. I bought 344 pounds of jewelry and I'm unboxing it with you guys. I have my bread and butter videos. I have my featured seller videos where I'm your featured seller. I also feature YouTubers, um, their bolos. I feature people from my Bolo Buddies Facebook group that do not have YouTube channels. So if you're interested, my link to my Bolo Buddies Facebook group is down below. You can also find those links up here. Um, so yeah, I've got tons and tons and tons of videos, 50 unexpected bolo videos. I've got a whole series on that. Thrift with me videos is something new I'm doing, hoping to get back out to the thrift store soon. So definitely check out other things on my channel if you're new. All right, let's get into some of my clothing items that I sold this week. The first item are these express men's shorts. I sold these for $15 and 84 cents and, um, the buyer paid the shipping. So I will link below, um, all of my stores, my eBay, my Poshmark and my Mercari. If you would like to make a purchase and support the channel, that's awesome. If not, don't feel obligated, but if you see something you might be interested in, definitely check it out. And I am trying to move clothes. So come on over to eBay and make me an offer. Just put Bolo Buddies in the notes and I'll know you came from the channel. I have one more pair of these listed. I do have other sizes available in the same color and I also have these in navy. I picked these up at a discount store. I paid $3 for them and um, yeah. Here's another item. And when I say I paid $3, so how that works is, is I go to this discount store and I would buy like, hundreds of items. So I would basically take how many items I bought and I would divide it by the number or the total. And that's how I would get how much I paid for it because it just doesn't matter. Like it's roughly around $3. I have sold five of these. I have two left. I have other express men's shirts in my store. So if you are interested, links down below. 
but I sold this for $17.60. Oh, you know what? I am sorry. I better check what I'm telling you here. Um, that's odd. I had it. Sorry, give me just a minute. Oh, my apologies. Okay, I thought it said shorts and shorts. So actually somebody bundled these shorts and they bundled this shirt and for the two items, I sold them for $31.85 and the buyer paid shipping. I do offer $5 shipping on most of my clothing items when you purchase two or more items. So even if you get 10 items and they're all clothing, you're gonna pay $5 shipping and I'm gonna eat that shipping cost because you're bundling so many items, I'm like, it's worth it. Uh, the next item is this Parfait Brawl. These do come in UK sizes. I have sold 118 of these. So not huge margins, um, probably a couple bucks in this item, but I sold it for $9.59. The buyer paid shipping. But when you figure it out, I've sold 118. It adds up pretty quick. The next item are these Lane Bryant pants. These are a size 26, 28. They are new without tags. I have six left. If anyone is interested, feel free to make me an offer. I took a best offer on this item for $12 and the buyer paid shipping. This tankini is a size 14. It is super cute. I sold this for a full asking price of $19.80. And I do have one left if anyone's interested. The next item are these jeans de fleur. And they're a size 16. And I sold these for $16. Best offer. They retail for $71. So $16 is a pretty good deal. And they've got the embellishments on the pockets. And the buyer paid shipping. I picked these up at a discount store for between $3 and $5. I can't remember. The next is this boys clothing lot. Again, I've told you guys before. I pick up bulk. I bulk buy kids clothing at garage sales. So I go in and I say, if I buy all of this, what is your price? Uh, a lot of times those items sit until I'm in the mood to list kids clothes, but I was recently in the mood. So I sold these for $24 and the buyer paid shipping. These Levi's, these came from a garage sale and I think I paid a dollar or two dollars for them. I typically don't pay a lot for my items at garage sales. I bundle like I do with the kids' clothes. I will sometimes do that with the adult clothes also. I sold this for $23.76, full asking price, and the buyer paid shipping. These Express Sailor Pants, I bought probably a hundred pairs of these in navy and black at this discount store. Had about three bucks in them. Um, I don't think I have any navy left in this size. I might have some in the other sizes. Buyer offered me 23, well, we went back and forth negotiating, but I settled at $23 on these. And they also bought this pair for $23. I combined the shipping for them. So they were all in for $46 plus shipping. And I 23 is about the lowest I will go on these because they are a really good seller. And I do have a lot of black left. I think I have size zero, size two. I might have some sixes and some eights in this style. So another parfait sold for $9.59. Buyer paid shipping. These I've had a long time. I mean, a long time, guys. But I did buy like multiples of it. And this is the last one to sell. I sold it for a full asking price of $17.60. I think I paid $3 for these. This is a very old listing. And I know that because I still have the listing on the carpet. And when I say old, I'm talking probably three to five years old. So if you see something in my store that's on the carpet, I'm more likely to take a best offer because I want to move those items. So. The next item is this Gilligan O'Malley sleep cami. I picked this up at a discount store called Bargain Hunt. And uh, I want to say I paid like 30 cents for it. I sold it for $6.60. So really a big bread and butter item. But uh, I still made, what, four or five bucks? And I have two left if anyone's interested. 
The next item are these blank New York City pants, size 26. I think I paid $3 for these. I may have paid five. Again, it's a really old listing. I just was happy to see it go. Um, nothing wrong with it. Just it, you know, the background's not great. Uh, it kind of blends into the carpet. It is an older listing. I took a best offer of $11. If you guys know, I've said this before, I do not take my listings down. I keep them listed until they sell and everything eventually sells. Uh, this off and toss brawl, I paid a couple bucks for it at a discount store. I sold it for $8. I have sold four. I have two left. I, or no, I'm sorry. I have more than two left. I have different sizes here. So I have 34D, double D, C. I don't know how I feel about um, listing like this. If you guys uh, sell on eBay, do you guys feel like you do better when you list the item? Like if I just listed it as a 34D and created a separate listing, or do you think you like this? I don't know. I have mixed feelings about it. I feel like things sell better when they're listed individually, but that's just my personal thought. So if you could let me know what you think down in the comments, I'd greatly appreciate it. The next item are these express jeans. They're a black wash, um, bell flare express jeans, new with tags, sold these for $28 and 60 cents full asking price. I do pretty well with the, the bell flares and I've sold four. I have one left and the buyer paid shipping. I have about $3 in this item. Again, it was, I bought it all and I divided it out. So these lands in, had them forever, happy to see them go, took a best offer of eight bucks, probably paid a dollar for them at a discount store. And goodbye. Thanks so much. Whoever bought these, I'm so happy these are gone. The next item I picked up online, retail arbitrage online. I do that with um, certain websites, but I, I don't do it much anymore. I just don't have the time to wait on the sale, try to find the coupons. Um, it, it's a lot of work searching websites for deals. I probably had seven or eight dollars in this. I sold it for nineteen dollars and eighty cents. I've sold four of these. I have two left, and the buyer paid shipping. I do not wiggle much at this price. Um, that's about the lowest I will take. And on this item, I know it has best offer, but I already have it at twelve percent off. So most of these are going for the full asking price. Express jeans, about three bucks in them. I just sold this. I took a best offer of $19.99. The buyer paid the shipping. And again, I got these discount store about $3. Lane Bryant shirt. Um, I've sold 10 of these, a bread and butter item. I probably paid like a dollar for this at a discount store. And I sold it for $10.55. And this is a multi quantity listing. So there is no best offer button. So this has sold for the price, um, the sale price of $10 and 55 cents. And these are the sizes that I have available. It's a Dolman style shirt, super cute. Um, yeah. So a buck or two, I paid for it. The next item are these Jill J Jill pants. I sold these once they got returned to me, which is super annoying but I sold them again and I sold these. I took a best offer of $10 paid like a buck for them at a discount store. They're new with tags. They retail for $69. So not a great bolo, but i um, happy to see it go really old listing. Uh, again, happy to see it go. It was a really old listing before it got returned, but then it sold super fast when I relisted it. So maybe there's something to, uh, refreshing your items, ending them and relisting them. I don't do it a lot because I don't have a lot of time, but um, I do try to do it here and there. The next item is this brawl. Again, retail arbitrage online purchase. So probably had seven or eight bucks in it. Not super big um, profit margins when I source online, but they typically do pretty good. Again, I, I don't take much less. I did take a best offer on this one for 18, which I'm shocked because I normally don't. It must have been one of those days where I was just wanting to move some inventory, but sold this for $18 and the buyer paid shipping. Uh, the next item is, okay, so I have sourced these brawls several ways and I'm going to tell you how. 
Number one, there was somebody on Facebook that was selling them wholesale. I purchased some wholesale off of eBay. And I also find these at discount stores. Um, and I also will source these online. Now, how you know where I got it? If the item is black lined, I will put that their um, inner label may be marked through to prevent store returns. Some are not marked. It just depends on the size. If this is important, please ask. And the reason I do that is because this is a multi quantity listing with a bunch of different sizes. I have sold 63 of these. I have a bunch left. It says last one, but it's last one in whatever size this was. I have all of these sizes left and all of these cup sizes left right here. So um, it'll be one, of, one variation. But yeah, I've sold 63. I took uh, this sold for $19.80 and the buyer paid shipping. And if you guys know this brand, these bras are expensive, anywhere from $35 to $50, depending on the style. So $19.80 plus shipping is a great deal. The next item is this express dress. I purchased, oh gosh, probably 60 or 70 of these. I think I paid a dollar or two for them. Um, I've sold two. I have sold a bunch of these on Poshmark. I, I think I've sold some on Mercari, but uh, I sold this for $28.60. And I just got a return notification saying it's coming back because it was too big. But the good news is, is that they bought the small. So I'm hoping that fits them. So definitely a cute, fancy, glittery, shimmery uh, sequin item. So a couple bucks sold it for $28.60 plus shipping. The last item I just sold today, and they are new with defects. The reason they're new with defects is because the inseam says 32, but it actually measures 31. So I just disclosed that information. Got these for three bucks at a discount store. Took a best offer of $23 plus shipping. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about the clothing video. Are you interested? Are you not interested? Is this a video that you're going to just skip over? I mean, I'll be able to tell by the views, but I do feel like there's a lot of people like me, like I used to be, that just sell clothing and they don't want to see my other um, videos, my hard goods videos. So this may be something that will be maybe not for you, but maybe for someone else that someone else will appreciate. So as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Hit that thumbs up. Tell me you like my orange hat, or maybe you don't like it down in the description of the video. A comment. Just leave me a comment and hit that thumb. Thanks for watching. Have a great night, and I'll see you real soon.